And in the studio now, we have a supermodel that Oi. rides <laughs> Kate Peck from Channel 10's RPM. Uh, oh. Welcome along to Aussie Bikers. Thank you very much, Jonesy. It's a pleasure to be here. I'd like to start with an apology. Oh, you I, should always start with I that. misjudged you as a rider. <laughs> And I learnt this when we worked together on RPM. We were to go away for an adventure riding course. And I remember thinking to myself, well, well I'm not going to keep up with Stephen Gore or Anthony Gunter. You know, these guys are super motocross champions of the past. But this supermodel girl, Kate Peck, girl. Piece of cake. There was a point there where we left the tarmac onto the dirt and you guys were gone. <laughs> you guys, like, when I mean gone, like gone. <laughs> And I'd be killing myself to catch up. And I'd get to a point where I, I couldn't, couldn't even see your dust anymore. And then I'd pull up and, and I'd really just be, and you'd be under a tree with your helmet off, you know, just sort of filing your nails. You'd be reapplying my lipstick. Yeah, yeah, and then you go, okay, Jonesy, let's go. <laughs> so look, where did you learn to ride like that? Oh, well, that, was, that wasn't even a course. That was just a good weekend fang for TV, which is yeah. why our job is so awesome. But I did, um, well, my dad taught me a lot about riding, so but I only started riding when I was like 19 or 20. Uh, but to learn the off-road skills, which I feel is very important mm. for people who are on bigger bikes, or the bigger the enduro kind of style of bikes, which we're on. Um, I did some BMW courses, they're mm -hmm. like um, off-road adventure type courses, yep. because if you're going to take a big 1200 GS or even an 850 um, off-road, then you kind of need to know how to, how to use them. And you also want to learn how to use the technology as well. So that's how I... I learned um, how to ride those bikes. And also, the, yeah, the technology is cool. You can rely on them mm. to do quite a lot. They do save you in a lot of situations. But um, uh, but motorcycling, originally, my first off-road experience was with my dad. And I remember, we was in South Africa, and I remember him saying, just focus on where the front wheel is going, and the back wheel will take care of itself. <laughs> That's a lesson to live by. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you've, you've ridden in some amazing places. The first trip that I became obsessed with uh, motorcycle riding was um, Africa, so we did, uh, so I originally had a scooter, I was living in Sydney, and then um, Dad and Bin, they were, my stepmom were riding around the world every year, or every second year, all year, mm -hmm. um, and they said, we're going to Africa, we'll get you a bike if you want to come along, um, and so I had to learn how to ride a normal motorcycle fairly quickly, and then headed over to Africa, um, and I had a KLR 650, uh, Kawasaki KLR yeah. 650, so um, that was my first kind of big, big bike. So uh, it's we a, were a hell of a it. bike to sort of start. It was good. Yeah. It was, uh, but when you're tall, you know what it's like. Mm. You can kind of, you just kind of deal with it. Yeah, I was about, and, uh, but I look at you. You managed to like relive this dual life. On one hand, you're riding motorbikes like a demon. And then I see you walking red carpets and stuff like that. It's a it's good a variety, a bit of fashion. So I started with modeling and then, um, and then got fired from a lot of jobs. So I worked out that television was going to be my thing, but also at the same time worked out that I really enjoyed motorcycle riding as yeah. well. So um, so the, both those two passions kind of kicked off at the same time. But you know what it's yeah, like. It's yeah. a glamorous lifestyle a glamorous being life. a model. Jonesy, you know what it's like. You walk the red carpet oh, every day. Constantly, constantly. <laughs> I, 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 you should see my blue steel. Oh, it's, um, it's gorgeous. I've seen it. You're a uh, you're a BMW fan. You, yes. you love the BMWs. Love and, the BMWs. And you're riding today. I love that. I love what you're riding yep. today. I've got my R90 yep. Desiel. It's, a, it's pretty new to the country, actually. I think this that just came in at the start of 2019. I'm like, what are you wrote Yeah. 2019. So it's... Um, it's S P E Z I A L. Speziel. 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 Yeah, so it's 1200cc boxer engine, and heated hand grips, oh. which is very important. The you know. Germans. The Germans. The Germans. They know what they're doing. It doesn't have a heated seat. It doesn't have a heated seat. I don't know you. about the heated seat. It always oh, feels like you've done something. It's kind I always of warm feel and like, nice, you know. though. It's a bit of a hug for your bum. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't need a hug Who for did, Exactly, when you're out there off-road in the cold and yeah. you just want a little bit of a hug for your bum. You're on uh, RPM and you, you, so you follow the V8 supercar circuit a fair bit? Yeah, so we do, uh, well, I get to do everything on RPM. Mm. It's kind of like the ultimate gig. Um, I get to follow the supercars, so we do the major rounds. It's about five rounds that we do. Of course, Bathurst, which is, great. Um, which is epic. Uh, but then I also get to do off-road riding, adventure riding, stunt 
riding and driving and track days and rally car driving and navigating and there's kind of I kind of get to do everything on our end. So it's um, it's a really good variety and the point of all my stories is to have fun. Good. They just say you go out there and you have a good time. And so what, what happens next for you? What's your, what's Cape Pex plan? What, what are we going to well, see actually, you on in the future? Well, actually, so the next, because I've done, so I've done Africa, I've done Sri Lanka, Mexico, Colombia, um, and that's it. That's yeah, it. I think that's it. Uh, on the motorbike. So next, uh, we're planning on going to Bhutan. Have you heard of that? Yes, I've heard of Bhutan, but yeah. So you, so it's really restricted for um, for tourists. You have to pay a two hundred and fifty dollar a day happy tax. Uh, and so, but they do have uh, motorcycle tours that they do there, which would be very cool. It's dangerous? I don't think so. No, I think it's really <laughs> safe. So. I mean, if you're paying a happy tax, right? That's, right, okay. It's got to so, be a good place. So this is extortion? Yeah, more or protection less. Protection money. Protection money. We'll okay. call it protection money. But in terms of work, we've got, uh, yeah, working on RPM, there'll be lots more car stuff and motorbike stuff. Sure. And, um, you never really know what the, what opportunities present themselves in the world of um, television. Anything could kind of go down. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Now, I, I, what I like about you is you've come here today, it's pouring rain, not a shred of wet weather gear, <laughs> but you've managed to look like... <laughs> oh, I couldn't be bothered, I've had to, to give honest. this poor little, little urchin uh, a cup of tea. My to little my... cold hands and fingers. Do you know how much of a pain it is to get your wet weather gear? It was like half an hour here, 40 minutes here. I was like, ah, stop That's it, I'll just get I'm, wet. I'm just getting it. Yeah, I'll just deal with it. I'll suck it off. I feel like I'm a bit of a wuss anyway. I can so. lend you a garbage bag. Oh, that'd be way. nice. That's what actually, when my when I go traveling with my parents to third world countries and stuff, we put these big fat garbage bags yeah. around our around our boots, which look atrocious, but they yeah. get the job done. Bad if you're riding a Harley, because then you've just got a shrinky dick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Kate, it's great to see you. Thanks for coming in. Oh, cheers, mate. Look out for this lady, Kate Peck. You'll uh, you'll know her dust. Yes. Oh, believe me, I've seen it. Yeah, you know my dust well. Um, you know. <laughs>